<clears throat> yes a very good morning to all of you i come up with a new video in this video i am going to explain the most expected questions in aptitude for any placement examination part 2 i am explaining i am going to explain part 2 now in this part 2 i will cover a, a minimum of 25 questions which are most expected questions from the number system concept by any company right so this video will help full for your preparation in aptitude for all these companies that i am listed in this slide so make use of this video as best as possible by the way i am mr shivaganwar prasad as an aptitude trainer having 14 years of experience so let us start the today's session let us start this one right this is the previously asked question and also an important question if m and m are the mean and median of the two numbers of the numbers 2 3 so what is the correct relation between m and m first of all small m is what mean so i am going to calculate the mean mean general representation is x bar and that is given as m mean is simply average so the mean of the numbers sum of all these numbers 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 6 plus 10 plus 14 plus 18 plus 22 plus 26 plus 30 whole divided by the number of terms are 8 this sum is nothing but 128 128 by 8 which is nothing but 16 this is the mean value okay fine now what is next median median if the data is in this individual series median is nothing but mean of mean of the terms n by 2 comma n by 2 plus 1th terms one the terms right where here n is the number of terms n is the number of terms and this is valid for n is equal to even if the given number of terms are even then median is nothing but mean of these two terms after doing the ascending order already the terms are given in ascending order no problem no problem mean is nothing but n is 8 here n is 8 number of terms are 8 8 by 2 so fourth term comma fifth term after making in ascending order the mean of the fourth term and fifth term will be median here for since n is 8 which is even so 14 plus 8 divided by 2 which is nothing but 32 divided by 2 nothing but 16 this is the median so what happens here what happens here mean and median both are equal first is the option mean and median both are equal right one of the important model question the individual series are given you are going to you are they are going to ask to calculate the mean and median or variance standard deviation like this right this is the question from uh, mathematical statistics yeah what is the next question sum of the three fractions is 2 11 by 14 on dividing the largest fraction on dividing the largest fraction by the smallest fraction 7 by 6 is obtained which is the great which is greater than the middle fraction by 1/3 okay what was the smallest number by seeing at first time it looks little bit complicated but don't don't worry it is an easy question let us say the three fractions are x y z and the sum of the three fractions is given by 2 11 by 24 24 2 are 48 plus 11 59 divided by 24 sum of the three fractions in this uh, x let us say the fraction x is the smallest fraction and the fraction z is the largest fraction largest and y is the middle one now just apply 
on dividing the largest fraction by the smallest fraction how much will be obtained 7 by 6 okay this is one thing he has been given right and this is 7 by 6 is what this is 7 by 6 is what he is greater than the middle fraction by one third he is greater than the middle fraction by one third which means middle fraction plus one third will be will give 7 by 6 that's it therefore y is equal to 7 by 6 minus 1 third 6 is the LCM 7 minus 6 1 by 6 is the LCM right 7 minus 3 2 are which is nothing but 5 by 6 so y is equal to 5 by 6 y is equal to 5 by 6 middle one is okay now make use of this one in a best way y is equal to 5 by 6 therefore x plus z is equal to 59 divided by 24 minus y y is nothing but 5 by 6 y is nothing but 5 by 6 therefore x plus z is equal to 24 is the lcm 59 minus 6 4 are 5 4 are 20 59 minus 20 39 divided by 39 divided by 24 this is x plus z now the smallest fraction x we need right smallest fraction x we need we have z by x if we divide this by x we will get z by x yeah go by that so dividing by x we will get x by x is nothing but 1 plus z by x z by x That is equal to 39 divided by 24 whole divided by on both sides we are dividing by x therefore x is equal to z by x is 7 by 6 1 plus z by x is 7 by 6 that is nothing but 6 plus 1 6 plus 7 13 by 6 is equal to 39 by 24 divided by x I am doing over here therefore x is equal to how much 39 divided by 24 into 6 by 13 13 3s are 6 4s are therefore the smallest fraction that is obtained as 3 by 4 right easy question very very easy question very very easy question the smallest fraction is 3 by 4 next question for 4x square plus 1 by x square is equal to 2 then the value of this one right value of this one the most expected question in TCS most expected question in TCS right so these type of questions are generally appeared in TCS so 8x cube plus 1 by x cube 8x cube plus 1 by x cube so what I am going to do is 8x cube plus 1 by x cube 1 by x cube can be written as 2b sorry sorry can be written as 2x whole cube plus 1 by x whole cube a cube plus b cube I am applying which is nothing but a plus b into a square a square plus b square minus 2a sorry not minus 2ab minus ab minus a b a plus b into a square plus b square minus ab so x x gets cancelled so this is 2x plus 1 by x 2x plus 1 by x 4x square minus 1 4x square plus 1 by x square is 2 this is 2 minus 2 0 the whole term is 0 answer for this question answer for this question definitely there are a lot of in every placement of TCS there is a definite question on a cube plus b cube or a plus b whole cube or a plus b plus c whole square 
write these i already explained few questions in part 1 on these identities how many factors of the number 2 power 8 into 3 power 16 into 5 power 8 into 10 power are multiple of 120 fantastic question most expected question from the topic of factors right 120 multiples 120 can be written as 12 into 10 12 is nothing but 4 into 3 10 is nothing but 2 into 5 this 4 can be written as 2 square so finally what i got 2 cube into 3 power 1 into 5 power 1 this is the prime factorization of 120 now given number is this one its prime factorization is what 2 power 8 2 is a prime number 3 power 6 base 3 is a prime number 5 power 4 base 5 is a prime number 10 power 5 10 is not the prime number 10 can be written as 2 into 5 which is nothing but 2 power 5 into 5 power 5 finally what the number is 2 power 8 plus 5 is 13 3 power 6 5 plus 5 power 4 plus 5 is 9 this is the given number where 2 3 5 are the prime bases where 2 3 5 here are prime bases so this is the prime factorization okay now we need what this number multiple so bring 2 power 3 into 3 power 1 into 5 power 1 from the number which is nothing but 120 now the rest of the number is how much 2 power 10 into 3 power 5 into 5 power 8 now this is 120 right now what Whatever the number which is present in the bracket, which is one twenty multiple, so the number each and every factor of the number which is present in the bracket, each and every number, each and every factor of the number in the bracket will definitely be one twenty multiple. Simply, the task is finding the number of factors of this number in the bracket. number of factors all these factors are definitely 120 multiple so for this bracket the number in the bracket number of factors are after writing the prime factorization power plus 1 10 plus 1 power plus 1 5 plus 1 power plus 1 8 plus 1 and 9 6 nines are 54 11 into 54 is 594 all these 594 factors are 120 multiple all these 594 factors are 120 multiple so answer for the question is 594 good quality question find the number of factors which are 360 are perfect square the given number is 360 first of all write the prime factorization 36 into 10 36 is nothing but 9 into 4 10 is nothing but 2 into 5 9 can be written as 3 square 4 can be written as 2 square into 2 into 5 overall we will get a 2 cube into 3 square into 5 power 1 this is the prime factorization after writing the prime factorization this is step 1 after writing the prime factorization we need perfect square i already explained at a length about number of factors and multiples topic all this concept at a length now here the paper explanation kind of video so i am directly telling the process so after writing the prime factorization divide the power by 2 now for the prime base 2 the power is 3 divide this power by 2 perfect square divisible by 2 that is the reason why divide the power by 2 right power by 2 you will get 1.5 neglect this decimal part you will the remaining is 1 for this add 1 you are going to get 2 now the next power is 2 2 divided by 2 you will get 1 for this 1 integral part add 1 which is result 2 now next power is 1 1 by 2 nothing but 0.5 complete decimal part neglect the result is 0 add 1 overall 1 next multiply these results 2 into 2 into 1 which is nothing but 4 the answer for this question is 
four factors which are perfect square the entire explanation and reasons of this process you can go through my video lecture of the numbers factors and multiples part 2 factors and multiples i explained all these things in my video course in my video course you can contact this number for that complete video course next one out of the first even natural numbers how many first hundred even natural numbers first even natural number is one second even natural number is two into two third even natural number is two into three like that first hundred even natural numbers is two into 100 so ended by 200 starting from two to 100 starting from two to 100 okay how many numbers have even number of factors right for the perfect square i'm telling you for the perfect square for the perfect square total number of factors are odd for example if 36 is there 36 the total number of factors whatever the value it is odd the total number of factors of 36 are odd 81 is a perfect square its total number of factors are odd so if the number is a perfect square its number of factors are odd other than that for the rest of the numbers the total number of factors are even so what i am going to do is the total numbers are 100 minus 2 square 4 is a perfect square 4 is a perfect square okay Next, 16 is a perfect square, 36 is a perfect square which is even, 64 is a perfect square which is even, 100 is a perfect square which is even, 144 is a perfect square which is even, 196 is a perfect square which is even. Below 100, these are the perfect squares which are even, which are even. For all these numbers, for all these numbers, total number of factors are what? Odd. For all these numbers, total number of factors are odd. How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These 7 numbers have odd number of factors. And for the rest of the numbers, the total number of factors are even. How many? Total is 100. 7 are not. So, remaining are 93. So, 93 even numbers are there which are having even number of factors we are going in a reverse way we just subtracting the total numbers from the factors number of numbers which are having odd number of factors that's it remember for a perfect square the total number of factors are odd based on this concept this question has been designed right so the entire perfect square entire factors and multiple i explained beautifully in four videos at a length for that complete video course you can contact this next question four bells most expected model for placements most expected model in placements four bells toll at the intervals of 6 8 12 18 minutes respectively of, of the of they start tolling at 11 am sorry 12 am how many times they will toll together in six hours in six hours how many times they are going to told together okay so first bell rings for every six minutes second bell rings for every eight minutes third bell rings for every 12 minutes fourth bell rings for every 18 minutes they told together how many they told together after how much time is is simply lcm of 6 8 12 18 the lcm of 6 8 12 18 is 72 which means for every 72 minutes all four bells are ring together for every 72 minutes four all four bells are ring together now he is asking how many times they are going to ring in six hours six hours six into 60 which is nothing but 360 minutes so in 360 minutes total duration how many times they told together they told together for every 72 minutes total is 360 minutes 360 by 72 which is nothing but five so they are going to told together five times in six hours 
in 6 hours duration they all four bells are ring together for five times total time is 360 they are told together for every 72 minutes so they are told together for five times in six hours superb question from lcm concept superb question from lcm concept a red light flashes three times per minute a similar kind of question but very important question also a red light flashes for three times per minute per minute so for one time flash how much time it will take for one time flash red light takes one by three minutes one by three minutes similarly for one time flash for one time flash green light takes how much time one by four minutes one by four minutes similarly for one time flash yellow light takes how much time one by six minutes if i take the lcm of these three numbers they told together for after how much time will comes which is nothing but lcm of 1 by 3 1 by 4 1 by 6 that is nothing but lcm of the fractions is simply lcm of numerator terms divided by hcf of denominator terms hcf of denominator terms numerator terms are 1 1 1 lcm of 1 1 1 is 1 hcf of 3 4 6 is 1 which means 1 so which means they are going to told together these three red green yellow flashes together for every one minute for every one minute these three lights flashes together these three lights flashes together how many times they are going to flashes together in 75 minutes for every one minute they are going to flashes together in 75 minutes they are going to flash 75 times answer is over important question my dear viewers find the largest number which which, which divides 444 804 1344 we need to find the largest number okay that divides this number that divides this number that divides this number leaving the same remainder we have to find the largest number when that largest number divided by 444 804 134 leaving the same remainder for these type of questions the process is what so second last 804 minus 404 first you just do next 1344 minus 804 next 1344 minus 444 804 minus 444 is nothing but 360 1344 minus 804 is nothing but 540 and this is nothing but 900 taking this difference the difference take this difference and take calculate the hcf since we need largest number highest number calculate the hcf hcf of these three numbers is 180 so the answer that we are looking for it is also 180 if you want you can check 440 444 divided by 180 804 divided by 180 and 1344 divided by 180 you will get the same remainder in each case right this is one of the finest important question from the hcf concept my dear viewers most important question for all the placements for all the placements cool right for the leaving the same reminder case this is the process keep remember last year in three slots the similar kind of question has been asked Three pieces of cakes, so 4, 1 by 2, which is nothing but 9 by 2 is the weight of the first cake. 6, 3 by 4, 6, 4 is the 24, 27 by 4 LBS is the weight of the second cake. 35, 36, 36 by 5 is the weight of the third cake. These cakes we have to divide into equal parts further. Each part must be heavy, which means each part of the cake should be as heavy as possible nothing but hcf right if we calculate the hcf what we are going to get the weight of the 
largest possible cake that we cut from these equally the weight of the largest possible cake hcf of the fractions is nothing but hcf of numerator terms divided by lcm of denominator terms 9 24 36 9 34 9 twenty four is it twenty four six fours are twenty four plus three twenty seven this is twenty seven six into six fours are twenty four plus twenty seven right so nine twenty seven thirty six nine threes are nine fours are so HCF of the numerator terms is nine two four five LCM is twenty right so nine by twenty is the weight of the each cake. each smallest cake with the heaviest weight right now from the nine from the first cake how many cakes we are going to get each cake weight is 9 by 20 so 9 by 2 into 20 by 9 how many cakes we can cut 10 cakes from the first cake we can get 10 from this 9 by 2 lbs cake how many smallest how many cakes we can cut 10 cakes each cake weight is 9 by 20 from the second 27 by 4 divided by 20 by 9 9 threes are 4 fives are 3 fours are 15 so from the second cake we are going to get 15 pieces each piece weight is 9 by 20 now 36 by 5 third cake divided by 20 by 9 Nine four zero five four zero four four zero sixteen. So from the third cake, we are going to get sixteen pieces. Each piece weight is nine by eighty. Total number of cakes are how many? Forty one. That's the answer for this question. Important, important, important. Get question, which means we can serve to maximum of forty one forty one guests. We can serve to forty one guests. Forty one guests. The LCM of two numbers is five seven double zero. Their ratio is okay, right? Remember most important question. For that you need to remember two important properties. Product of the two numbers is equal to product of two numbers is equal to what? LCM of two numbers into HCF of two numbers. This is one of the property you should remember. Now, now third property, next property is what a very very important property. What was that? What was that? Just listen, right? If x a comma x b are the two numbers where x is the HCF, HCF, right? Comma and sorry. Come on, A comma B R co prime, A comma B car co prime. Then the LCM of these two numbers is simply X A B. If X is the HCF of the two numbers, and those two numbers are X A X B, where A comma B R co prime, then the LCM of these two numbers is X A B. Most important property, hundred percent chances are there to get this type of question in almost every placement based on these two properties. You are going to get the question that is happening in every placements. Keep remember these two properties. Now the two numbers are fifteen comma so fifteen nineteen are in the ratio. Let us take the two numbers are fifteen x and nineteen x. If you see fifteen and nineteen are co prime, nothing can be make it common. So fifteen comma nineteen are co prime and fifteen comma nineteen are co prime. Right. LCM of the two numbers is five seven double zero. So then this x will be HCF. Then x will be HCF. Definitely, x will be HCF. Therefore, LCM five seven double zero can be written as x A B. X into A is fifteen. 
b is 19 i am just applying this property because 15 comma 19 are what co prime 19 3s are 57 15 2s are 30 so h x is equal to 20 simply here x 20 is nothing but h c f we got x now the smallest number is 15 x 15 into x is how much 20 therefore the smallest number out of the two numbers is 300 is 300 these are the two important properties my dear viewers please remember these two properties and very very important properties also next question hcf two numbers is 1 by 7th of their lcm easy question the product of the two numbers is 1183 then the hcf is very simple right if we take hcf as x then lcm is how much based on this 1 by 7th of their lcm therefore hcf is x lcm is 7x lcm is 7x lcm into lcm into hcf is nothing but the product of the two numbers which is nothing but 1183 therefore x square is equal to 1183 divided by 7 7 ones are 7 4 8 7 6 are 43 7 nines are 63 so x is equal to square root of 169 13 x we got where x is hcf he is also asking hcf therefore hcf x is how much 13 simply i am applying the first property that i was told in the previous slide LCM of the two numbers is 120, HCF of the two numbers is 15, if one number is 45, what is the other number? If one number is 45, let us say other number is K, product of the two numbers is equal to LCM into HCF, first property I am applying, okay, therefore the other number K is equal to 120 into 15 divided by 45. 15 3s are 3 40s therefore k is equal to 40 which is nothing but other number okay but the answer for this question is what answer for other number we got 40 so first number is 45 other number is 40 that we got if you take the hcf of these three numbers these two numbers we will get 5 hcf is 5 but he has given hcf is 15 which means there is no such number exist according to this question we got the hcf as 5 but he has given hcf as 15 so according to the given data there is no such number exist that is the answer for this question it is not it is not 40 even though this property has been satisfied we got k other number as 40 okay but if we take the hcf of the other number and the given number how much we are going we, we got 5 but the given hcf is 15 therefore for the for the given data there is no matchable there is no matchable other number keep remember very good quality question while finding the hcc of the two co prime numbers right co prime numbers 3 comma 5 their hcf is 1 7 comma 9 their hcf is 1 11 comma 15 their hcf is 1 11 15 co prime 7 9 co prime 3 comma 5 co prime therefore the co prime numbers hcf is how much 1 division method right the coefficients are 3 9 7 the division method of hcf calculation i explained at a length in my video course for that video course you can contact this number now here i am explaining the question this is the division method Just observe. Now the quotients are 3, 9, 7, 2. This last divisor, in this, this last divisor 
he is called hcf last divisor in the sense remainder is zero so this last divisor is nothing but hcf here the hcf is how much one here hcf is how much one now how to calculate this middle number dividend is equal to divisor into coefficient plus remainder 1 into 2 plus 0 2 now this 2 will be transferred over here this is the division method 2 here 2 here and the remainder is 1 so therefore this value will be calculated as 2 into 7 plus 1 14 plus 1 15 this 15 is previous divisor and this 2 is the quotient now this number is 15 into 9 plus remainder is how much 2 here on this division which is nothing but 137 this 137 will be here in right now this value will be 137 into 3 this 3 plus Remainder is how much? 15. So which comes out to be 420. This is 420. He is asking the largest number. So 137, 420. Which is largest? 420. Largest is 420. Largest is 420. 26. Not 420. Sorry my dear viewers. 426. Largest is 426. 137 into 3 plus 15. So whole 3 is 21 plus 6 26. Right? 426 is the largest number. Next question. Very, very important question, my dear viewers, in the HCF topic. A number when divided by 3, 5, 6 successively. Okay. Successive division. When divided by 3, the remainder is 1. When divided by 5 the remainder is 3 okay when divided by 6 the remainder is 2 okay what is the remainder when the order of the division is reversed order of the division is the first division by 6 next division by 5 next division by what 3 we need to calculate the remainders okay now in this case the general number let us stay x here now number here is 6 into x plus 2 6 into x plus 2 here 6x plus 2 now the number over here is 5 into 6x plus 2 plus 3 5 into 6x plus 2 plus 3 30x plus 5 twos are 10 plus 3 13 13 now the number over here is 3 into this 3 into what is the number here 30x plus 3 upon division remainder is how much 1 that is 90x plus 3 5 twos are 10 plus 3 13 right 13 this is 13 39 plus 1 40 this is the general number of this category this is the general number of this category if you take any x value if you take any x value what happens when divided by 3 5 6 the remainders are 1 3 2 this is the general number right now the order of the division is reversed okay from this general number if i substitute x is equal to 0 I will get the number 40. For this 40 also, this property will be satisfied. The smallest number I calculated. Now, 40, 6, 6 are 36. Remainder is 4. 5, 1s are 5. Remainder is 1. 0, 1. Therefore, the remainders are what? 4, 1, 1. That's it. This general number calculation is the main thing, right? For this question, there is a beautiful shortcut is there, but that shortcut is not entertained from my side because if you know the concept, it is easy. 
for explanation purpose i am taking the time if you go if you are solve if you are trying to solve in the examination it will take less than 1.5 minutes less than 1.5 minutes you can crack this question if you have a concept in mind concept is the king always a number when divided by x leaves the remainder of 8 when divided by 3x leaves the remainder 21 what is the remainder left when twice the number is divided by x okay just remember this one dividend is equal to dividend is equal to divisor divisor into coefficient divisor into coefficient plus remainder got it the same thing i have applied let us take the number as n nothing nothing but dividend it's nothing but a divisor divisor when the number is divided by x leaves the remainder 8 we don't know coefficient let us the coefficient as a and the remainder is how much 8 i mean this one this is n i'm dividing by x the coefficient is a the remainder is 8 this is n is equal to a. we can write 8x ax not 8x a this is a small a the coefficient is a i'm just assuming right we get the same number when divided by 3x, when divided by 3x, let us say coefficient is b and the remainder is how much? 13. I mean this one. When divided by 3x to the same number, let us say coefficient is b, remainder is 13. These two are given. I am just, in the both the cases, the number is the same. Right? Number is the same. Okay, if we equate these two, x a plus 8 is equal to 3 x b plus 13, bringing the x terms on same side and make it common as x, a minus 3 b is equal to 13 minus 8. Reminder is not 13, reminder is 21, sorry. 13 minus 8 I just written, sorry. Remainder is 21, right? 13 minus 8 is nothing but 13, 13. Okay, 13 is a prime number. So we can break only in this fashion. So x cannot be 1, x cannot be 1. Why? If you divide any number by 1, there is no remainder. There is no remainder because any, any, natural number will be divisible by 1 there is no remainder here we are getting the remainder 8 and 21 so definitely x cannot be 1 x should be how much 13 x should be how much 13 x should be how much 13 next therefore a minus 3b should be equal to 1 right by the trial and error method by just trial and error method if a is equal to 4 b will be how much 4 minus 1 3 3 by 3 is 1 these are satisfied these are satisfying okay that's cool therefore the number is how much let us conclude number is x is 13 a is 4 remainder is 8 52 plus 8 60 this is the number got it now what is the remainder left when the twice the number is divided by 3x what is the twice of this number 120 when it is divided by 3x x is how much 13 13 threes are 13 9 right 120 divided by 39 13 threes 39 threes are 117 remainder is 3 answer for this question remainder is 3 answer for this question beautiful question now this video will definitely helpful to solve many of the questions my dear viewers right this is the second part of most expected questions from aptitude in any any placement i will upload total 25 videos 
these 25 videos will definitely helpful to crack any placement any placement not a tcs not infosys not wipro any placement right most expected questions i am uploading those will guide how to prepare what topics you must prepare right thank you one and all please subscribe my channel that is what i am expecting thank you one and all